Okay, part three. Mm. Um, that's just an example. Another example is prostitution. Yeah, prostitution is kind of a sick, dirty job, but somebody's got to do it, right? Some women go, hey, you know what? <laughs> Uh, job market sucks. I need to pay bills. I have a starving family. I'm gonna go and you know do this. Now that can be self-destructive. Some countries actually legalize it and then they put the women through rigorous testing and certifications to make sure that they are actually clean. That I respect. And then there's other women that say, hey, you know what? I'm gonna go to a club, wear scantily, you know, scantily dress myself, shake my ass on stage. Hey, you know what? More power to you. Okay, my aunt in law, may she rest in peace, she was one of those. She was putting herself through college. She had four young babies, and she had to do what she had to do in order to get herself through school. She made a lot of money. She was gorgeous. She was beautiful. I've seen pictures of her, you know, just headshots, you know, because she was also wanting to get into modeling. Beautiful, beautiful woman. Okay, you know what? Whatever you want to do in your life, do it. Fuck the haters. Do what you want to do in life. Because you know whether or not you're doing something that is right for you. Fuck all the haters. Fuck all the judgmental Bible, hump Bible humpers. To hell with all that nonsense. Okay? Morality be damned. Okay? Because your sense of morality is what is important to you. Not to anybody else. Me, however, I couldn't do it because <laughs> I have stretch marks. I'm saggy and baggy in some places. And... You know, me shaking my ass on stage might make people throw up. Okay. That, and I'm a very shy person in real life, and uh, I couldn't do that. Now, however, I do play a virtual reality game where my character shakes her ass. But then that's because I adjusted the pixels in just the right way so she looks appealing when she's shaking her ass. So then I look at it and go, wow, I did a good job. <laughs> did a good job making my avatar look absolutely awesome. That's cool. You know, you do whatever you got to do in order to get through life, okay? A lot of people choose virtual reality, such as, you know, uh, video games, MMOs. Um, I used to play Guild Wars. I now play Second Life. I'm not trying to advertise those two games. I'm just telling you what I did. So that way, if you play those two games or if you play something similar, you go, hey, rock on. This crazy bitch is actually a nerd. Or you're going to call me a geek. There's a difference. Nerds have their noses in books and they can't quite figure everything out. But it's fascinating to them. Geeks are those that actually know how to put the shit together in their heads and then translate it for the nerds. Okay, I'm a nerd. My husband's a geek. It works out. Because in order for this lovely, lovely... Mm, hey, whoa. Over here. Pay attention. Mm, uh, kissing my keyboard even though it's filthy. In order for my lovely, wonderful, all black computer, because black is sexy, uh, computer to keep working, I need a geek around that I can, you know, like, hey, this ain't working, fix it. Ah, you know? And there's flip flops in front of the fridge. <laughs> oh, at least it's not a pair of underwear like I found yesterday by the stove. That was gross. Right? darling goofball son. He told him to put his dirty clothes away and he must have dropped those in his haste. Don't worry, he picked them up. They're not still there. Um, but basically, um, live, your, live your life the way you fucking want to. However, I will provide you, you know, not exactly on day to day, just how I feel. Right now I'm kind of overdosing on it because I haven't I haven't blogged in a while. But uh, you know, you know, every so often I will come across something that's interesting and fascinating and I'm going to impart it onto you. Wonderful weird wide web. Why? Because um because I can. <laughs> However, there are some caveats. I'm not really going to uh, reveal my name. I'm not going to uh, really reveal my kids' full names. I mean, you know, my kids are named with very common names. Um, my name's pretty common. I typically go by the name Fiona Tierney by default. And uh, those of you that know my Second Life character, it's Taz or Tazia. Um, 
and then uh, my husband, he's either Chuck, Charlie, or Charles. I mean, he's all the same person, it's just how I refer to him. If I call him Chuck, he knows he's in deep shit. If I call him Charlie, he knows that I'm feeling all sweepy. Charlie! If I call him Charles, I'm being formal. Like if I'm introducing him to someone, like, meet Charles. Or, well, he's right there, he's in the living room. Meet Charles, he's kick-ass, he's a goofball, but he'll grow on you, I swear. You know, that kind of thing. Um, but, uh, you know, for all intents and purposes, um, you know, I'm not going to be, you know, plastering my last name all over the place. I'm going to be plastering my husband's last name. People that may, you know, be in the vlog inadvertently, I'm not going to plaster their identities either. You may just see their face. That don't mean shit. Because a lot of people look similar, especially when you are coming out of that eyeball right there. So, you know, whatever. Um, those of you that know me in real life, <laughs> hi! <laughs> uh, yeah, I like to expose myself online, but not the way that everybody thinks. I just show cleavage sometimes if I'm feeling froggy. You know, blow me. My, my cleavage looks like a second ass. I know it looks like shit. I don't care. Boob quick. Whatever. Um, those that actually feel nervous about exposing yourself online, either by talking like this in a video blog, or showing your cleavage, or showing your, you know, clothed ass, you know, because I think showing your nude ass online is a little frightening. Some people should just keep their butts covered, including mine. Um, you know, if you don't feel comfortable doing all that, no, more power to you. You do what you want to do. I'm going to do what I want to do, and let's just be happy with that. So, those that uh, may feel a bit offended by what I just said right there, I apologize. I'm not calling you out. I'm just saying standard, you know. Do what you want. You know, I'm not going to judge you because I have no right to. And don't you dare judge me. Because if you do, I will verbally kick your ass. Or maybe just pretend that I am and then just not post. So, okay. That is pretty much it for today in Hippie Chicka Plus. I am your hostess with the mostess, Nettie, aka the Yippie Chick, from Hippie Chicka Plus, Country of Chaos, State of Insanity, and basically just city of what the hell is going on with my eyebrows. I've got you comb them again. Okay, well, love y'all. Peace, love, and chicken grease, hair grease, whatever kind of grease you want, bacon grease, you know, yeah.